Hello, welcome to another uh, episode of Optics Theory Deb Debates. Theodore and I will today um, talk about a specific topic that we think it's important when it comes to the customer's understanding uh, of devices. So today we're going to be talking about the term refresh rate. We think that it's important that our, uh, cost for our customers to understand what refresh rate basically means. And today we have here some di digital, uh, we have the digital night vision device and this two are digital, digital night vision devices, night vision and are thermal, yeah. thermal devices. And uh, Theodore, what is refresh rate? So how can we, can we explain it? Well, the easiest way, the easiest way is uh, to imagine a movie. And when you're seeing a movie, they say moving pictures. And that means if you have many pictures taken, one after another and put together in a slideshow, you get a movie. And the refresh rate actually means how many of these pictures, images you see per second. And it's uh, denoted in Hertz. So how many pictures are taken and shown, taken on the sensor, shown on the display in one second. And what basically means if this refresh rate is above, let's say 30 or something like that, then your brain, when it collects all these images, can form a normal flowing movie, or I would say flowing image. So everything below looks unnatural because you see the gaps. You see that the moving is not fluent, but it, it stops in between. It's like it freezes every so and then. And um, this is basically the refresh rate. It, it, mean, it means how many images per second are changed on the, on the display. And it basically means if you're seeing a fluent, Im uh, fluent video, fluent movement, or if you don't, if there, is, there are small gaps in between. So if I understand correctly, with the digital night vision devices, mm -hmm. the re refresh rate is nowadays mostly 50 Hertz. Or more, or more. Because, because it's, when it's above 50 Hertz, you're not able to see any problems with an image anymore. Your, your eye and your brain uh, functions normally and you see the fluent, uh, fluent movement and everything is okay. When you go below 50, then sometimes you can see that the image is, I would say, freezing or uh, that it's not fluent. So uh, if we go to the thermal devices, we have here the thermal segment. Here the, the Helion has, I know, 50 Hertz, right? Yeah. Refresh rate. All the others do not, so... Uh, well, it's, it's like this. If we look at the digital night vision optics uh, and digital option, uh, optics in general, the refresh rate is already out of the, of the field of view because it's not really important anymore. It's above 50 Hertz with all the devices and you see the, all the movement fluently. With thermals, this is different because only the best thermals have 50 or 60 Hertz. Every, every, all other thermal devices have less. So if you talk about the brands which we have on the, on the table, uh, the latest generation of Pulsar thermal devices, they all have 50 Hertz. So the, the flow of video, the flow of movement of the image is really, really fluent. And you don't notice any, any problem. In the past, they were producing also 30 and 9 Hertz this one has devices. Nine, yes. This one has 9 or 30? I really don't know. I think it's not even written on it. I think it has, it has 9, I think, but I'm not sure. Maybe it has 30. Well, with 30 or 9 Hertz, when you're panning, when you're moving, or when the animals are moving in your field of view, you see like jumping. You see, you see an animal here, then half a meter in front and so on. So you don't see a fluent... Uh, motion mm -hmm. uh, and with all other devices like SIG Thermal, the Leupold LTO, they're usually either 9, either 15 or 30 Hertz. Um, so they're usually a little bit slower and it's sometimes harder to, to do panning with them or to observe moving animals or moving objects. Now that we are here uh, debating about the refresh rate, I think it's important to point out that uh, some countries have a have an export regulation that prohibits yeah. them from exporting devices with ref refresh rate above 9 Hertz. Yeah, this is the main reason why some manufacturers still produce 9 Hertz uh, uh, thermal uh, imaging uh, devices because then the export is free. While if it's 
uh, 30 or more, it's usually regulated, limited, and so on. It goes from country to country. The U.S. normally is the biggest market, also uh, the biggest producer. They, I think, they have uh, like, I think, nine hertz is uh, it's free to export everything above you need licenses you need end user agreements and so on so this is also one factor it's not only in technology i think all the producers have the technology for 50 hertz devices but it's also where the device was produced where it's shipped where it's exported and so on in european union where we are based 50 hertz is a norm i would say all the devices which are produced inside of Euro European Union or imported to European Union with 50 Hertz, with regulations and so on, and then uh, they're usually sold in all the shops with 50 Hertz. Uh, those devices which are based and manufactured in the US, they usually come to, to EU with 9 Hertz uh, or 15 or 30, but usually not with 50 or 16. Thank you, Theodore. So mm -hmm. refresh rate is one of the main general terms where it, when it comes to g digital night vision and thermal devices. And uh, thank you for explaining it for our customers. With, so a, with a short sentence, the bigger is better. The bigger is this better. Is when it comes the, to refresh rate. Yeah, the, one of the few topics where the bigger is better, definitely. Yeah, yeah uh, thank you very much for watching. So if you um, enjoyed the video, hit like and also subscribe to our channel. If we forgot something, you can uh, Send uh, leave us a comment in the comment section below or send uh, an email uh, to our email. So uh, thank you guys for watching and goodbye. Bye.